there is Nata Gomez, 29 years old, fighting out of Santos, Brazil. He stands 182 centimeters tall. This fight taking place at 71 kilograms. His record, 60 fights, 45 wins, 15 losses, and zero draws. He is an international Sing Batong champion in Muay Thai. And there you can see his opponent, Kitty Sojo Dan Rayong. Originally from Chanthaburi province in Thailand, 182 centimeters tall, 89 fights, 78 victories, 11 losses and 0 draws. 11 fights here at Thai Fight with 10 knockouts and 6 of those have come in the very first round. Only one decision, and that was when he won the 2019 Thai Fight Car Check Championship at 70 kilograms. I've, had, I've got this marked down as a potential fight of the night, I don't know. I was actually, you just stole my words. I was oh. going to say, uh, in the fight prep, Aaron told me to look at this as a potential fight of the night. And then he told me basically, watch out for Nata Gomez. And I replied, what, what did I do? I don't I don't want any smoke. And he was like, no, what? Kitty needs to watch out. And I was yeah, like, oh, that's much better. Not only does it come from Phuket Fight Club, where we've, where Barbara comes from, uh, where she comes from, where she trains out of, and, uh, and you know, and as we talked about it before, the other Brazilians, Lobo and uh, Steel, Sharp and Steel. Yeah. They've got a lot of really good fighters. And he has fought another fighter by the name of Pet Cantas M. U. Den, who's a well respected fighter on uh, Super Champ, and he actually drew with him. So He looks like he's going for the uh, Kitty back tattoo, but he's only going to have finish so far. A lot of good credentials for Nata Gomez. But that man on a roll. But he has been getting hit, I would say, in his he's past been few fights. Yeah, he's been putting himself in a lot of danger, to he, inflict danger. Yes, he really likes to have that exciting style. As you mentioned, so many first round finishes. His fights are always so explosive, so quick. Similar to PTT in a lot of ways. But when you fight in that style, you take a lot of damage. So we'll see what his approach is in this fight. Round one. Yeah, getting in close straight away, looking for those elbows. Yeah, you're going to want to keep an eye on Kitty's downward right elbows. You've already seen a few. It's his favorite technique by far. It's Real. what he uses to cut his opponents. It's what he uses to end them. Three or four elbows already. Maybe a fourth, fifth right there. Jumping in recklessly, like you said, Adam. It was a brutal finish the last time we saw Kitty a couple of months back. A first round knockout where he sliced open. Blood was pouring from his opponent. Attempted left high kick there from Gomez. He's staying cool. I was going to say, Gomez doing a really good job of keeping those hands high. Trying to deflect a lot of those strikes. Kitty clearly head hunting. Again, looking for that elbow. I like the way that Gomez is putting, lifting his hands up and blocking or deflecting a lot of the shots that Kitty is throwing right now. Yeah, I was going to say it would be a good time right now for Kitty to maybe change his approach and go to the body. It's not really his style though, is it? Not at all. <laughs> that kind of attempt from Kitty, I think that was just a slip right there. Yeah, I was going to say Gomez clearly read the scouting report. He's protecting his head as much as he can. And he looks strong as well. He landed a little bit of an elbow on the break there. Kitty not having his own way right now. Look at the way he's blocking those yeah, shots. He's even, bringing, he's even bringing in his offhand cross body to protect his his head. So like I said, he's he's clearly aware of what Kitty's mo is. And Kitty is finding it difficult to find the mark due to the fact that Gomez is doing such a tremendous job of covering his face. Oh, he got through oh. there, though. And that time, he got through foot, and down goes Gomez, but he's not out. Straight back to his feet. The only thing I would say is that Gomez has to attack more. Exactly. He's been defending and doing a great job, as it said, but you're not going to win the fight by doing that. No, the worry is, oh, oh and down he goes again. 
There is a well under the left eye of Gomez. Back up again. Can be trying to celebrate, but he's got unfinished business here in the ring. I guess that's the difference, blocking with gloves and blocking card check, rope hands. Yeah, but I mean, I go back to what you say, Aaron, too. You can't win a fight just by defending well. He hasn't really been able to give something to, for Kitty to chew on. Lee fake kick thing. Exactly. You Good see Fake moving forward now. He knows. It's now or never. He's coming up there. Uh oh, but down he goes again. That's three times in one round. The ref says, I've seen enough. And how wrong was I? This boy Kitty just <laughs> keeps getting more impressive and impressive that time. That was he wasn't, very as you said, fight. he wasn't like what, what you said in the last fight where he was butt rushing his opponent and getting caught. He was picking his shots, finding the time, strategizing, and the way just did three knockdowns to a very, very good fighter. Kitty saw Jordan Rion, he's just flying right now. Is there anyone who can stop him? I think a few of these times Gomez will look back at this and think why did the strike use a throw a counter strike? Not being harsh. No, I mean, I wonder if there was a certain mentality where he felt like if he could weather the storm early, that he'd have a chance to then mount his own attack, but it, it never came. Even that. I mean, look at that. that. He caught that on the hand, and it just went through his head. And that also goes to what you were saying, Aaron, about these rope hands do not offer much, if any, protection. Now, if that would have been a glove, maybe it would have cushioned the blow. And he would have gone down via a jab if that was a glove. I'm pretty sure of it. That's why Karchiak is so exciting, yet so dangerous. The winner is... The Kitty, Sawjaw, Dan Rayo.